Let crawl a little bit. But at least you have one of you. And hello everyone, welcome to the new episode of Youth Fires, Jesse J here with... Ari. So I can't say... Okay, go ahead. I was, before I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> welcome so to our new episode. So why can't I just say, no, welcome yeah. to our new episode? Of course you could say... It me. always has to be you. Well, you say it now, you say welcome to Okay. And welcome to our new episode of Youth Fires. And I'm Ariel here with Jesse J. Come on. Wonderful. And we are going to talk about a topic that um, is not spoken about a lot because I find more in church or whenever there's events or whatever, people talk about relationships and they talk about marriage, but they don't talk about celibacy. And it is a serious thing. No, she didn't say celebrities. That's a different episode. <laughs> celibacy and um for the basic meaning basic understanding it's just basically those who are not married as well as those who choose not to yes, get yes, married all okay the single ladies. yeah all the single ladies um in, ex exclusive of beyonce <laughs> right um so what are we getting into today is basically to get an understanding of you out there you know there are a lot of single ones out there you know those of you not a relationship and guess what if you are in a relationship and you're not married, you're still single. You're not married, okay? You're not bonded or yoked to anybody. Exactly. Okay? Come so, on. So, Ari, let, let's get into it. Um, you know, what are we starting about? Well, we can look at the fact of just the lifestyle itself. Because, mm. you know, I mean, when you're thinking about celibacy, a lot of the times you would think about single, mm -hmm. right? So maybe we could start from single and yeah. then go into, you know, the whole relationship thing because right. that's where you get into the nitty gritty yeah. of stuff. Um, a lot of singles have a problem or an issue mm -hmm. with celibacy. Right. Um, you find that in the culture that you have a lot of um, promiscuity and mm -hmm. stuff being promoted, social mm -hmm. media, everywhere to in music, everything. And to really have that foundation and ensure that you don't get caught up yeah. or carried away. Yes. You know, you have to put the boundaries in place. Yes. Because everything around you will, you know, a lot of the times it would draw you in the opposite direction. Mm. And in terms of the company, we keep the conversations that we have yes. that would determine a lot to how we face certain battles, how we deal with certain right. things. You know, the word of God doesn't make celibacy sound like what a lot of <laughs> youths, young people these days would yeah. make it sound like. <laughs> so you know, make it so, so, such a negative thing like yeah because Paul when he speaks about it in the Word of God you know he kind of describes it as he kind of sees it as basically equal to marriage or equivalent of marriage yeah because in that you're 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 serving your purpose solely for God exactly he was when in that same scripture I believe it's first Corinthians 7 yeah you know he was speaking about you know, if it is you decide to be single, be mm -hmm. single. If it is you decide to, you know, get mm -hmm. married, get married. Yeah. But you know, it doesn't it doesn't diminish your purpose. It doesn't diminish who God has Very called true. you to be. That, you know, when you're single, you have more time or you're able to dedicate everything to Christ. Mm. And it doesn't mean that if you're in a relationship, you can't dedicate things to Christ, but grace for different things. Yeah. And you have to really also pay attention to the Holy Spirit to know, okay, mm -hmm. what is, where am I? Yeah. Where do I fall? Because ha it, it would have a lot of people that would be trying and trying and like, they know, they know that relationships and stuff mm -hmm. is not where it's at for them. Yeah. But because of culture, because of society, yeah. peer pressure, yeah. you feel like I need to be in a relationship. I need yes. to be posting pictures of me and my significant other right. everywhere. And mm -hmm. we must be looking happy and yes. satisfied. All right. you know? and, and, and not just that, you know, when you when you reach in that place where you all have to have this particular look, mm -hmm. then no, along with the look, there are other things that people would require or exactly. ask or request. Well, exactly. I want to get into that because we, even within that same scripture, Paul went on to say that you know if uh, you know as from the guy's 
perspective because you know in, in that time and that culture you know it was the, 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 the male man. that had to go to the female that kind of thing you know he said if it comes to a point to where it, it overwhelms you or it comes to a point where what you're thinking about that person and in that scripture he said the word virgin yeah um, like we know today that it's not necessarily the case but no condemnation yeah. um you know he said that you know get married right and and do the will of the lord but get married mm -hmm. but if you think you could hold strain then you know you hold strain you hold strain and nothing and, is wrong and with that. nothing is wrong with that you don't have to get in to that relation because it is the thing about it is that some some cultures in, in some churches some environments is like oh you meet that person oh that's the one get married boom bam bam and then five ten years later you, you know you don't realize wait oh, what's wait, happened to my wait, life not, not even there right, yet right, that is the one here. and you have mm -hmm. how many little ones yeah yeah little ones <laughs> from that one that disappears very true very and true. now you have more than one <laughs> yeah 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 but you know and guys what we're saying is we're talking real life we're not condemning anybody mm -hmm. we're just saying that you know god has made a way for us in our personal lives whether yeah. it is with somebody else yeah. or by ourselves because if we take example of the bible you know Two people were very, very single. <laughs> Jesus and Paul. Yes, okay? come on. When we think of the Bible, when we think of the New Testament, we think of Paul and we think of Jesus. Yeah. Okay, they laid a lot of instructions, a lot of yeah. foundation for us. And, you know, that's, that's what it is. That's what it's about. They, they were the leaders they you know literally they set the foundation mm. for a lot of us today mm -hmm. because i mean now and this is whether i mean you're in a relationship or you're not in a relationship and when i say you're in a relationship i really mean married or not married eh? yeah but you know the work that they had it was so focused yes so it comes down to focus, focus. it comes down to your decisions mm. it comes down and and really allowing the holy spirit to lead you mm -hmm. because when it comes to that point of people feeling lonely or yeah. feeling empty or feeling mm -hmm. a void, let's go at that point mm -hmm. because, you know, whether you're in a relationship or out of, rela out of a relationship, you can have that same feeling. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. but if God is not the center of your life, mm, you know, it. if you don't allow him to fill those spaces, yeah. those gaps, and a lot of, a lot of people these days have gaps and they, they refuse to acknowledge. Yeah. They refuse to acknowledge that. But they fill it with things now. Yeah. They fill it with empty relationships. They yeah. fill it with, um, um, you know, uh, going on to this certain sites and watching certain things just yeah. for the temporary pleasure mm -hmm. the temporary pleasure and i mean you know people would say just going on sites but books to read them books mm. listen watching everywhere movies, anyway every anywhere you could turn and yeah. and you know <laughs> people like to find loopholes so they'll be like this not in the bible so mm -hmm. this not in the bible right. so you know the Bible didn't tell me anything about this, so yeah. I don't see this name inside there anywhere, but you know it very well related to the things that, that much so. were spoken about. Yeah. And it's very clear cut, it's it, like it's laid out for you. It's yes. not it's not maybe mm -hmm. a wonder if it's straight, it's straight for you to say straight forward. Yeah. And if we come to that place of submission, mm -hmm. If it is we come to that place of submission right. and really are willing to be obedient to God, yeah. because you know, there's there's the one side where people working on stuff. Yes. You know, you're, you're making an working effort to kind of... Working with fear and trembling. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, right. people are at different stages. Let's yeah. say you get saved and you was already in a place where you was kind of dealing with some battles. Mm -hmm. And... Icky Eater Banker. <laughs> when you... Know when I was in Tobago. But... Even with the dealing with your battles, God gives you the grace. He gives you yes. the grace mm -hmm. to deal with these things. And if you don't have God backing you, if you don't mm -hmm. have, and then to God 
gives you something to focus on. Yes. God gives you a purpose. He gives mm -hmm. you a reason. The devil finds work for idle hands. Very much so. Very for idle much. minds. Very let's much just, so. Let's just leave idleness out of the whole equation. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Because anywhere the enemy has room to come, he yeah. is going to come in. Mm -hmm. Okay? He just wants that door. He wants that door. He wants that access, that avenue. Because we all have our weaknesses. Our weaknesses. Not everybody's weakness is lust and perversion. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. We have other vices. Yeah. Right? Other uh, areas where the enemy could get at us. Very true. And guess what? If we are then in a relationship Right, because we want to uh, have that companion or fill that void. What then happens is then that uh, weakness can seep across and it mm -hmm. can expose really our heart condition, let's say for that person or heart yeah. condition in our walk with Christ ourselves. <laughs> We are now so um, now focused on the, the imperfections, the impurities, that we can actually see where prophetically where God wants us to be. God, some of us, has us in a place of that being single. True. He has others in a place and where it's a, it's a time. Exactly. <laughs> some of, some people as a power couple, you know, God has working in tandem because they understand that oneness, that togetherness. And as Ariel is touching on time, you may be single now. You may be that uh, in that period of celibacy now, but you never know. But you have to wait on the Lord. You have to wait on his timing because he's working on you. Mm -hmm. He's working on you. He can't put you with somebody else for the rest of your life. Guess what? Because that rest of your life will be cut short. Pretty as much. soon as that vows finished, honeymoon done, is marriage done, right? And I mean, let's look at it in general. It comes down to your personal relationship mm -hmm. with God. Because yes, we talk, we talk, we are talking about celibacy, mm. but that all comes down to you know, what are you doing? You know, how are you spending your time? Yeah. What is your relationship with God like? Mm. A lot of people think that their problems start when they reach in a relationship. Ah. Whoop, there it is. Yeah. All of a sudden you're lacking self-control mm -hmm. or, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And it's not something that just came from out of nowhere. Mm. You know, these are things that you would have faced even previously. Yeah. So like really reflecting, taking that time to allow God to search you yes, out yes, and yes. show you the things that you need to work on. Because for some people, certain things become idols, mm. certain things become addictions, and you don't want to have, you know, to really battle that just because you left a door open. Yes. yes. You know, sin always waiting there, crouching yeah. by the door, waiting for, yeah. for an opportunity to come in. Yes. And, and, and I want to touch on something. Thinking it, doesn't necessarily mean you're committing a sin, mm -hmm. okay? Thoughts can happen, but it's then if you dwell on it, mm -hmm. okay? If you dwell on it and you dwell on it and you dwell on it, and then it you becomes a to case... to take thoughts captive. Exactly, Come and then on. it becomes a case where then you act on the thoughts. And you meditate on it. Okay, so it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay, but... In that moment, you say, oh my God, God forgive me, I'm sorry. It's, it's, you know, it's a place of surrender. You're working on it. The deliverance will come if you really want it. Mm -hmm. You be in your word of God. You be in worship. You be in prayer. You be in church as often as possible. And consistency. That's the thing it. about our relationship with God mm. is that we have to be consistent. And yeah. as believers, we have to believe. Mm. Because you find that, you know, okay, let's say one week pass, two weeks pass, three weeks pass, yeah. a month pass, maybe, maybe let's say six months pass or a year pass and you mm. still find you're battling something, yeah. you know, and then you say, well, God really not strong enough to deal yeah. with this or help me mm. overcome this thing. Mm. And that's not the truth. The mm -hmm. enemy will always look for those little weak spots yeah. to make us doubt God. His mm -hmm. main, you know, agenda is to separate us from yeah. God, is to make us feel like God isn't real, God isn't there, make us doubt God or not. It's like the, the three Hebrew boys in the fire. Yes. Whether I perish. If I perish, I perish. I perish. You and know? I can die, right? If you never get married, that's life. 
<laughs> you know, if you get married, praise God. You praise God either way. Yeah. Paul was saying that. Praise God either way. Serve God either they way. You learned the lesson of praising God after making trust a few me. children. <laughs> trust me, trust me. Because trust sometimes me. the things that you think you will get the satisfaction or the purpose yeah. or, or, or that sense of meaning, that's not where you Imagine get it. Jacob didn't want the lady. You know? And the real thing is that if your foundation is Christ, if you find or seek everything mm. in Christ, God will always be enough. Yeah. Always, always be enough. And we have to come to a place. And, you know, I, I don't want to just say, you know, we would constantly say believers, believers. But if you want to know Christ, if, 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 yes. if you are feeling empty, if you feel pressured, if you yes. are in a place where you, you really, you know, you're succumbing to peer pressure and you're seeing things in the culture and mm. social media that you feel you have to do. Yes. Jesus is our way out of that. He's Amen. liberty, he's freedom. Amen. Amen. We're going to pray for you right now. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we lift up each and every person who is watching us right now. Hallelujah. Lord, Father, that you will touch them, that you will bless them. Lord, that you will, Holy Spirit, infill them right now, that they get that understanding, Lord, of serving you. Whether Jesus. they are alone right now or whether they are in a relationship, Lord, that you will reveal to them your plan and purpose for their life now, knowing that they are loved either way, that you love them either way, that you even in your words said you're married to the backslider so that mm. those will come back and they will serve you. They would say, I surrender my life to you right now, Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, we praise you, and we honor you. Thank you so much for watching this episode yes. of Youth Fires. Thank you so much for Ariel for being here. She forgot the name. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for when I'll more episodes one. come I'll give you that one. I'll right. start it. You finish. Yeah, okay. That's how we do it. <laughs> God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.